Mike and I have been friends for 40 years. 40 years, yeah. So, and I, still I, dig each other just as much as we did yeah, then. You see, I'm not really his friend. Yeah, well. <laughs> well, at least they aren't too friendly when Middle Tennessee and Tennessee Tech meet on the football field. I never understood why they call it Tech when it's officially Putnam County Trade School. <laughs> We call them the high school in Murfreesboro. Conference realignment has chilled the once red-hot rift. But if you ask Mike Williams, the Blue Raider, and Randy Wilmore, the Golden Eagle, the divisions are still deep, down to what they even call the rivalry's traveling trophy. We call it its name, Harvey. It's shinny ninny. It's Harvey. <laughs> it's Harvey. Whatever you want to call it, it's a hand-carved Alaskan totem pole that has traveled to the winning school since the 1960s. This is what it's all about. But Former the spoils haven't always gone to the victor. And I told Kim, I said, Kim, I think I can get it out of here. She goes, I'm not looking. So we, we left with the totem pole. We got it in the car. We got it out. Uh, they held the band's uh, buses for like three hours while they searched it. And we're back in Cookville with, with Shinny and Nitty. Thieving <laughs> texters. <laughs> but Mike didn't get mad. He got even. A group of, of uh, well-meaning and responsible students from MTSU uh, went to Tennessee Tech and uh, uh, turned some chickens and pigs loose in the cafeteria in Derryberry Hall. <laughs> Both Mike and Randy even took their divide to the skies. We got in a small plane and flew to Cookville and uh, dropped 56,000 really small pieces of paper with a message to Tech. What did the message say? Uh, I said, go to hell tech. <laughs> Little did they think that their homecoming was coming up like two weeks later, so we had time to, to plan a retaliation. So we flew over their homecoming, returned the leaflets with our message that said, dear MTHS, thank you for the invitation to come. The wind blew them to another area so they didn't get the stadium. Jim Simpson so is MTSU's unofficial historian. He says the trophy has been well-traveled. So we were getting pictures. Uh, around Thanksgiving every year of the totem pole and on the beach in, in uh, Florida or at the White House. But hasn't always been well cared for. It's been recreated. It has been broken several times. Mm -hmm. Finally, in 1998, came the final official totem bowl. Middle was moving conferences and Tech was no longer going to be on their schedule. Coach Raglan brought the totem pole over and gave it to Coach Donnelly. Harvey, or Shinny Ninny, has been in Murfreesboro ever since. But it's in our trophy case and it's gonna stay there for a while. At least that's what Blue Raider fans are hoping for this weekend. The two teams are playing again for the first time in nearly 20 years. Well, my son will hear these stories and like, did that really, did y'all really do that? I think we did. My children <laughs> don't know about it till now. <laughs> and no one is more excited about that matchup than these two somewhat friendly rivals. Are you coming to our tailgate tomorrow? Are you tailgate too? Yeah, we tailgate. With photojournalist Catherine Stewart. Well, let me know. As long as I'm not kidnapped, I'll be glad to show up. I can't promise anything. Chris Davis, <laughs> News Channel 5.